I gave GIMP 2.10 a release six years in the making a try. As you can see, I'm on GIMP 2.8. So why is there 2.8 back here whenever this is supposed to be a review for GIMP 2.10? Here's the problem. 2.10 has a lot of really neat features. You know what 2.10 doesn't have? Performance. I loaded images from a digital camera into GIMP 2.10 to do stacking, just like in my GIMP image stacking video. Unfortunately, GIMP 2.10 lags if you load more than a couple of high resolution images into it as layers. In fact, it's so slow that by the time you get just the second layer going, the program barely responds at all. I asked on the GIMP subreddit for information, is anyone else having this problem? Someone told me that yes, with high resolution images, it is a known problem that there are performance issues with the GIMP 2.10 release. All of the features in GIMP 2.10 are completely irrelevant to me because it's so slow that I can't get any work done with it. I really hate it because GIMP 2.10 was something I was looking forward to. I was refreshing the Windows binary download folder over and over practically every hour to see if the binaries for Windows were up yet. Unfortunately, I was disappointed by the performance. It was confirmed that performance is an issue. I don't understand why they would release a point release that's six years in the making with a serious performance problem that makes it unusable. That's my extremely short review of GIMP 2.10 featuring no GIMP 2.10 on the computer.